Happy Monday, everyone. I'm here with another spiritual practice for our Lenten journey. The spiritual practice today that I'd like to introduce you to is called Visio Divina. It translates to divine seeing. It's related to the practice we talked about a few weeks ago of Lectio Divina, that practice where we contemplate upon scripture uh, and listen to it prayerfully in a way that we allow whatever words or phrases call for our attention to let our attention linger in those places. The practice of Visio Divina is similar, only instead of a reading, this is about entering into images in the same way, trusting that a piece of art might offer something of spirit through it. And so the practice is, uh, involves being able to reflect upon a piece of art. It could be an image, it could be a photograph, it could even be whatever you see outside your front door or off your back porch to reflect upon it and to go into it, entering it, trusting that whatever details most immediately catch your eye and call for your attention, that perhaps there is something there for us to be attentive to. And so we let our gaze linger there. We let those details shape our reflections and speak to us. We trust that something of spirit is revealed in those places. I'd like to think of this practice a little bit as about what it means for us to be uh, just people in general, but what it means for us to be created beings and what it means for God to be incarnational. It is trusting that the things that we see around us, that those two have a word to speak to us, that spirit is not somehow apart from from what is around us, the images we see, but is in those places. That spirit is there too. And so I want to invite you into this practice. When we were meeting together on Monday evenings, the way it worked is I would spend some time reflecting on a scripture for the week, and then I would look for images that resonated with me of those stories. And so I might do a Google search of a scripture and see what artwork others had created around that. The first week when we were still gathering together in person, it was the story of Jesus tempted in the wilderness and also the story we familiarly call the fall with Adam and Eve in the garden. And so I used images from that story to lead us. And so today I would invite you, there is of course an image behind my head. I'm sure that you have images around you. A photograph, artwork on your walls, something you can just see when you look out a window. I would invite you into a time of just reflecting on those images, seeing where your eye is drawn to. And so the way it works is you intend to spend time and atten- spend time, give attention to where your eye is immediately drawn. And then you take time doing that and then you pause and you try and take in the whole of the image, reflect upon that. And you, in this reflection, are listening for, within yourself, looking for, in the image, excuse me, places where your prayer is shaped, different feelings that might come up in the process, and letting those guide you in the prayers that you offer, in the reflections that you see, that you make before God. And so I would invite you into this practice using a piece of art or an image in your own home. Another way to do that is that you could also, if you would like, uh, use perhaps one of the scriptures that you've been using in devotionals. Uh, Do a Google search of a scripture related to that, image search to see what comes up. The scripture that we listened to in worship yesterday could be one that you might choose. There's Ezekiel, the Valley of the Dry Bones. There's Jesus and the Raising of Lazarus. Both of these stories probably have images, I'm sure, that go with them that artists have done. So I invite you to uh, enter this practice in your own way and to reflect back. I'd love to see how this uh, practice goes for you. I know this is one that I think in my mind Uh, is one that either really resonates with people or feels perhaps really foreign to people, which Lent is always about finding different ways of encountering God. And so I invite you to encounter God this day through the images around you and let those images shape your prayers. I can't wait to hear what you've been praying. All right, take care. Blessings upon you.